can go. Crystal Palace here, Liverpool one. There we go. Going into the international break, top of the table, number one. No one expected this going into October. Anyone that was thinking Arsenal, Man City, no matter what, Liverpool not even in the conversation. There we go. Liverpool is there. Top of the table. Behind, in front of City and Arsenal and everybody else. No one can take that away from us. And going into the na international break, going out of the international break, we are top of the table. The first minute, again, really bad starting. We just seem to be going really slow in the first couple of minutes. They get a goal, but it was ruled offside, rightly, rightly so. So offside as it could be. And then within the eighth minute, fucking Diogo Jota gets his goal as he usually does with a good header. I mean, can we not? He is brilliant. And then Liverpool control the game until the first half, ending in 1-0. Not much more than we can ask for. Control dominated, there we go. Going to the second half, wasn't as exciting. They made some changes. Robinson, uh, Costas, uh, McAllister for Swapless We're not really sure why. Maybe a yellow card, maybe an injury. We're not sure. And then, of course, Allison. He kept us in the game. Had a couple great saves, four saves. And then, unfortunately, he ended up end ending injured. Probably injured his groin or his hamstring. Didn't look good. He had to get help going out. But we brought in Jaros. Not sure where Kelleher was today. That's kind of sad. But, you know what? We kept the clean sheet. Liverpool. We won the game, and there we go. Top of the table, fucking let's ride, let's fucking go Reds. Come on, you Reds. I said that Jota had a header, but it was not a header, obviously. It was a nice little ball through ball in the middle with the score and with his foot for once, but there he goes. Be sure to keep the ground in sight. Fire forever if you keep it tight. Love the world, but keep the sky on your mind.